If you saw the video, and if not, I'll link it in as a card, presumably. Um, but I just went to Ikea a couple days. Um, I wanted plants. Um, and generally speaking, like, all the plants are mine. But I don't necessarily have room to put them all in one spot, so... They're mostly in my sister's office right now. Uh, so I'm just gonna give you a tour of what plants are hanging here. Um, okay, gonna try and record without getting too much of the neighbors. So, there's, there's like six, uh, actually there's seven plants hanging right now. Um, that in the corner is a philodendron rio. So, um, I'm under my sister's LED color light, whatever you want to call it, um, because I'm not getting light for whatever reason. So, um, and I'll try and show close-ups as I can. That's, uh, Philodendron Rio. I got, that's actually two. I got each for $4. Same price I got the ones recently from Ikea. Got that a couple months ago from Home Depot before we were not buying from Home Depot. Uh, which is a shame. Well, it's not a shame. It's, well, you know, it's just easy for me to get home plants from Home Depot. But also that Home Depot is like always sus. So, uh, then I got that. That's a daisy. So, I got a pot, a box from the Dollar Tree. It said, flower, power, get a bunch of daisies nonstop blooming. And once it germinated, you're supposed to start watering it every day. I haven't been, and that's why I'm say and thinking it's not flowering yet, because it's been weeks by now. But also, like, we're not in the sunniest location, so it's still, you know, every time I add, add some water, it perks back up, so. Oh, that's just white salt. Um, <laughs> so I'm just gonna be cool about it, um, and be okay. Uh, my sister wants it out, but I'm fighting for it to stay on. Step stool now, so Rio Daisy that's not doing much. Um, heart shaped flower two from Home Depot that I put together in a pot. This is probably a great idea for me to take it down so I can. I don't really see it too much anymore. Um, I just try and water it with the Voss bottle I have, sitting with water, but it's generally doing pretty fantastic, I would think. Um, obviously there's some in the middle that aren't maybe getting a lot of light and they will probably die off as it starts to send uh, foliage to cascade Oof. over and whatever. But um, I'm really happy with this. Again, these were two plants that came up to $8 total. Mm -hmm. I got this, oof, Peperomia from Ikea months ago, I think for my birthday actually, and this is what the variegation is supposed to be like. I don't know if a couple of them are reverting, I think this one you can faintly see it, uh, you can still see it on some, but uh, for the longest time I didn't repot this, and then when I did find soil, um, there's barely much. Um, and it wasn't really in a pot that had good drainage. Um, but recently, it was in the corner next to this um, box of succulents. It's in a corner. But um, recently, I decided to hang it. I think it's like an old Kool Aid bottle, so I just cut out the whole. Um, you know, you work with it, you have some old jute twine and some. Uh, what do you call this? Some pipe cleaners. I did just buy this from Ikea and I'll link that video, but I'm not gonna take it down. It's too much work. But these are some chunker leaves. Um, so again, this was one pothos plant that are eight dollars. But again, chunker leaves I'm really happy with. Um, the other pothos that I did the water time lasts for. And again, pipe cleaners to save the day. And then my sister had some rope. 
And these are again two, the two philodendron rios I got from Ikea. Um, I wiped them down because they were really dry. But she had some rope and I just tried my best to fashion it into a macrame-like thing. Um, I didn't have time or extra rope to, to spare, so it's not super crazy, but it's what it is. Um, I also have this Peperomia Optusifolia. They're both Optusifolias, I believe, that I also got from Ikea. I know in one of those last videos you really couldn't see it well, but here is um, really the variation. I have this not close to the window, but like where it should get some loosely bright filtered light. My sister also leaves this on on pink. Apparently that's like a good color for plants at nighttime. So hopefully they're getting some more light. Also dry, so I don't know if I, I think I might, might dry, let it, or it's drying. I think I might let it dry out to then bottom water, we'll see. But two of the folios I've gotten, um, they've like started to brown, but not like opes brown, but like they're not dying either. So we'll see how that works. So, my sister actually got two plants of her own. She got one of these bonsai, bonsai, but it's not really a bonsai, um, that they sold at Home Depot. Oh my gosh, they sold at Home Depot. Um, but she has this uh, fairy tale, I think it's a Sirius, right? Um, and recently she moved it over here and you can see it's putting out a bunch of new girls all around. So it's doing really well. I really like this plant. I'm trying not to overwater it, um, but and it's doing well so far. So, and then, and then this is an assortment of succulents that uh, essentially I keep. It's a couple. Oh, I gotta water this. Oh, one of the cats probably did this. Um, it's a bunch of Hawarthias and olives. Oh my gosh, Rainbow Burst. What is the name of this? I think this is a Rainbow Burst. That's pretty much it. Um, here's the. Uh, Pelionia uh, that I was looking at recently. Um, again, mine, but a little branch that I had propped in here in a little cup. So, so my sister, in trying to enhance her workspace the best, you know, is always looking for plant vibes. So, recently I went to a shop right and I got a plant. My, mainly the idea why I bought this plant was oh, this would look nice for her. Uh, uh, aesthetic room, whatever. It's in African Violet, and I haven't really done much with these yet. Um, it came in this nice little purple plant pot, rather, and it's this nice purple leaves. Um, this is one of the better specimens they had. It was, I think, like three dollars. Uh, no more than four. It's either three something or two. I think it was maybe two seventy nine. I don't remember. Um, but these nice purple leaves are a bit darker than what's showing up on the camera. Um, probably that is the best indication of what they are. These are a bit too light. Um, but I gotta figure out how to take care of this. I, I made sure it's a bit moist and leaves coming up. I know they think they like humidity, right? Um, and they're uh, pest prone, so I I've really haven't taken it out of anything. I don't have it immediately next to any anything. Um, it's just sitting on her books over here but it's also like by the light so um yeah i have that my sister got me this um greenhouse thing from ikea a while ago and i've had different plants throughout it right now um throughout the length of time that i've had it i've had different plants in here but right now it only has what is probably my biggest plant and that is um, a sense of area plant has gone through so much at some point I, it was like two big um, plants I had in separate things in those wall mount things um, but then they fell multiple times um, I actually don't what the heck is this is do I have pests I, oh, I don't know what this oh no that's soil that I dropped in from the front from a different plant that's what that is that's just so I remember what that is um, anyway so right now I have this 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 one stuff that's doing fairly well, um, and then this one, these two in the back actually, I think I could look at it. These two in the back were one, but I split them recently, and 
m m uh, mainly the front one is doing not so great. Um, you see there's some leaves at the bottom. I've been cutting the leaves as they've been yellowing the outer ones with the hopes and the idea that the more I cut it, the more it'll root. Um, so I just have this here. So those are the vibes I have for this. I also have one Voss bottle and a second one. And what I'm trying to adopt, what I'm trying to do right now is um, leave water in there, open air, I don't really much mind. Um, not leaving there super long anyway. Um, but leave water in there to try and um, whatever it is that you do with that you know, you leave sitting water to avoid getting that salt deposition on the soil. So that's what I'm trying to do with the Voss bottles. I have some plants in the kitchen. Don't have to figure out if it was a heart-shaped philodendron that I got as well at the uh, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania horticulture show I went to, I think last year. Um, but it was this nice bushy plant. I had it in one pot, didn't really much change it. And then for whatever reason, I decided to split it. I think, the, I think they were getting leggy is the thing. So I split each stem, I guess, into separate pots. This one was in its own thing. I, obviously it's, it was in this pot where I moved it. Um, but recently I got this heart wire thing. And I'm trying to train it up. Um, this thing, so it's, right now it's just being held in place. This is the, what the heck is going on over here? Okay, this is the newest growth. There we go, so I have to take this off, it's gonna go back, so. Um, I gotta figure out how to train this better, but I'm still just trying to angle it this way, because it was going up, and I'm not trying to have it go back up. I want it to go zoom, 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 until it's really thick and bushy. Um, this would probably work better with a pothos, but I only recently got a pothos again. So, is um, another branch of my philodendron, and this one gets very regular light. Um, another uh, clay terrapot, I don't know what this is. And I have it so that, you know, these ev evaporate water fairly quickly, even though I think I also use these for candles at some point, so they maybe have a little bit of wax in them, but I don't mind. And this is a broken uh, bowl that I'm using just to hold it nice in place. Here's the Dracenia, uh, Dracenia trimarginata that I got. And I have to figure out how to care of this because I haven't, I kind of just plopped it in here and I haven't touched it since. I gotta figure out how to care of it, but it has this nice pinkish, white, you know, white, green, pink, the three color, the tricolor, uh, the marginata. Oh, it is marginata tricolor, I think it is. Um, but it kind of gives like a nice, depending on the light it gets, gives sh shifting colors. Is it red? Is it pink? Maybe purple? You know, so it's, I like it. It's nice. Oof, where is it? This one was higher up on the shelves in the kitchen. Again, this is all facing um, north, but the light comes in from the east. It's not dead north. So, um, that's how that grows, and you see the newer growth is a lot more compact as opposed to, you know, leggy leggings and then super compact and also maybe a bit smaller, some of the newer ones, but it's whatever. I love it. I don't know why. I feel like I'm having the same problem again. These are, this is a, maybe because I moved it? No, it was doing this before. Anyway, this was, uh, Dracina. Look at this very okay. Oof. Oof. Lovely. Um, this was a plant that my mother got and all of those four plants smushed into one pot thing and the original pot was this one down here this black thing is actually the pot from the the bonsai my sister got from Home Depot um, but it's been you know I I threw it out my mother was like it's not dead yet I thought it was dead so she put it in water rerooted and it's kind of done better than it had been done before. All of a sudden, I don't know what the heck this is. I'm probably gonna cut it shortly after this video. Um, but yeah, so that's that. Um, but it's just lovely. I might have to put it back um, where it's almost touching the ceiling instead of moving it where it got some light. But I don't think this is 
light damage, I would assume this is water. But also, like, if I don't water it enough, is it dry right now? No, it's still a bit moist. If I don't water it enough, it, like, throws a fit, so, you know, it's whatever. So now I'm in the bathroom. I think someone was using this old yogurt, it's like a glass. Um, thing for like mixing something, maybe one of those depilatory creams or whatever. But anyway, so in the process of transplanting many things, things always get broken, blah blah blah. In fact, this was a piece of I think the pothos, like a new leaf that had been coming out, and it broke. Like it didn't break at the same, like broke in the middle of the leaf. But I figured let me just put it, and in fact, it is unraveling. I don't know if after it unravels, after the leaf unravels, it'll just die off, but I'm gonna leave it see what happens but this is another piece that came from this leaf is so um, dusty but whatever um this is a piece of leaf this is a fellow that came but this is the tiniest you know tiniest little leaves are coming out and i'm so excited to see what happens um let me, wait, let me see what i can get for comparison here is a nickel <laughs> this leaf is tiny Tiny. I think there's a second one underneath it anyway. Um, but this soil is very like. I don't think it has much organic ma matter in it anymore. Um, but I have the pothos. I have a leaf that just fell off the pelionia. I don't think it's gonna root anyway, but whatever, we'll see. Um, I have the philodendron, and behind it, I also have um, a leaf from the peperomia. So. Everything's doing okay, nothing's super dying to be thrown out yet, but I'm excited for this, this tiny leaf. This is in the bathroom, so I sometimes have to water this like almost every day, maybe every day and a half, but it's okay, I love it. Finally in my bedroom, I only have two plants uh, here at the moment, I used to have a lot more in here, but I have a lovely specimen of Pelionia, Hawarthia, and Aloe, I don't, I don't know, I have it here. So, um, thanks for watching. I have a lot of plants on my mind and my heart. Uh, a lot of space I don't have for those plants that are on my mind and my heart. The Birkin has grown on me. Eventually, maybe I want one, but I'm not super crazy for it right now. Aglaine and chocolate would be really nice. I want a homolamina, but I have mixed thoughts. In fact, generally, I'm having, like, I won't call it existential crises. An existential crisis, but I'm having a lot of questions about the ethics uh, of houseplant keeping. So yeah, thanks for watching.